You know what's funny? This was one of the very few times where Megan Me actually should have summoned Maharaga, and he didn't. Nine out of ten times, he will pull that shit out at the most minor inconveniences. But when his life is on the line, all of a sudden, he don't want to do it no more. But hey, that's fine by me. Thanks to him, we were able to see this cold ass entrance by Toji. Man's real came back from the dead to bring back the milk. That's crazy. Man's pulled up and wasted no time. Flashed up from midair, pulled up on Maki and said some. Give me that shit, nigga. Had her ass doing a whole flip. And he gets right to work, pulls up on Dagon and gets ready to box. Fishman over here looking at this dude like, oh, he got no cursed energy. This is gonna be some light work. No, no, it isn't, dog. Dagon strikes first with his sea serpent, but Toji sends that shit back. Came in with that same day delivery. Spit the sea like a nigga Moses while he had it too. Then he disappears, comes in, rocks his shit, and sends him back into the water. And now it is time for the cooking to begin. I had to put this in slow motion. Peep game real quick. Toji comes in, grabs this man by the tentacles, and rips them off like he taking tickets at that Chuck E. Cheese. Brings this man around and sends him away. He comes in with that Hall of Fame chase down that he got and straight up speed blitzes him, giving him straight combos. Throws him again. He runs up on him, and this part was straight diabolical. Mans pulls up, loops around this man, and then sends him flying. Out here treating him like he's a toy. And Dagon's response to this violation is sending not one, not two, but three fish at Toji for a counter. Toji quite literally eats that shit and sends his ass away for that disrespect. And Dagon's like, aight, if three fish didn't work, how about 300? Acting like Toji ain't turned the last one into bones. He blows through that like Hakari be blowing through money at the casino. Made sure there was nothing left. He tries to summon the sea snake again, no. but Toji stops that. So he decides to switch tactics and drown him. And look at Toji. Man isn't even worried in the slightest. In true Jujutsu Kaisen fashion, he calls in the fish to jump this man. And then sends a sea king to end him. And yeah, that was cool and all, but that shit did no fucking damage. Came out that shit unscathed, didn't even fuck up the fit in the slightest. He sends the sea king back down, and then we see Dagon wash up on shore. And I can't even lie, this shit is embarrassing. You are a grown ass nick, fish, fish nigga, figure, whatever, and you out here getting cooked in your own domain. A fish losing in the water is like the average black man losing to a three foot Chinese kid and a one on one. That is your own turf, that is where you belong. How are you losing? Toji gets back down and Dagon out here on one knee. Bro was just trashing him for having no cursed energy and now he hitting the Vegeta. He gets up, blinks three times, and Toji already there. Shit gotta be scary as fuck. Nigga out here moving like a jump scare. He tries to block with his water bending. But Toji reminds him, he ain't a part of the team. Hits him with the right, snatches that shit, and then goes for the left. Then he adds one more for good measure. And now his ass wanna start backtracking. Crazy. He tries to use those fish for the upteenth time, but Toji <laughs> sidesteps and hits this man with the nastiest rollover and snatch combo. Then he winds up from Timbuk2 and stomps on his ass with the loafers on too. Dagon falls to the floor and Toji decides it's time to end this. Dagon starts to see what's going on and decides to dip, but he must have forgot he was in Jujutsu Kaisen. Ain't no such thing as a one-on-one -on -one around here. The old man comes in and sends his ass right back down. Toji uses his weapon as a pole vault and pulls up to complete the jump. Brody out here talking about some, it's not over. And Toji's like, I then beats the shit out of him. Making me lucky as hell this nigga wasn't around when he was a kid. Them after school ass beatings would have been lethal. He finishes up and Dagon is now Dagon. <laughs> Okay, that sounded a lot better in my head. And yeah, that's basically it. Y'all already know what's up next week, so I'll see you then.